Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I've got the usual breakdown for Isanzo's 19th dev blog. So today's focus was put on the Engineer class, and the fortification building options we'll have in game. The Engineer will have a lot of responsibility on the battlefield in Isanzo. In order for their team to be successful, a good Engineer will not only have to build fortifications, but use their tools to break through the enemies. In this first image, we see two Italian Engineer classes building some barbed wire, but as I said earlier, this can also be disassembled with wire cutters from enemy Engineers. While not everything on each map will be constructible slash destructible, there is still a lot of creative liberty given to this class in Isanzo. Sandbags are a very important important part of the gameplay in that they allow the player to build cover to protect themselves and their teammates from incoming fire. Here we can see what it looks like to construct sandbag emplacements, and while I assume there will be a red zone mechanic of some sort that will prevent you from placing them on spots with bad collision, for the most part their placement looks to be completely freeform. Here we have a closer look at the UI and exactly what we're going to be able to build with this menu. Our options seem to be big sandbags, little sandbags, big barbed wire, little barbed wire, and then finally a sniper shield. Here we can see what the sniper shield looks like when deployed, and how it can be really useful when defending an objective. Now let's talk about the perks available to the Engineer class. First we have the Sapper Company perk, which grants faster planting and diffusing times on sabotage objectives, so useful when attacking and defending. Then there's the Support Company perk, that gives better handling on mounted weaponry. And then finally, the Death Company perk, which allows you to select armor in the equipment screen, which will do the same thing as it does for the Sniper class in it reducing suppression and protecting you from shrapnel. Either way, the Engineer is an invaluable asset to both teams in Isanzo, and mastering the nuances will allow you to control the battlefield in several different ways depending on the playstyle you choose. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Bobo Rail from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.